A budget shortfall could mean major cut for the families of medically complex children. These cuts would impact how they care for their children. Lauren Kostick was at the Indiana State House today as these families came together to bring their concerns straight to the governor. These families sat down with Governor Eric Holcomb for the first time after making requests for months, now hoping to get more answers by the end of the week. Six moms came out of the governor's office Monday after handing over a list of 10 requests to Governor Holcomb and the FSSA secretary. We really appreciate the fact that they finally took the time to meet with us, although we wish that we would have had this opportunity sooner to let them know about the issues that we are having, but it is better late than never. Parents of medically complex kids have been fighting for answers since January, when cuts were announced to the state's attendant care program because of a budget shortfall. The program paid parents an hourly rate to care for their kids at home. FSSA now wants to switch them to a different program that would give them a daily stipend, which would only go towards hiring a medical professional like a nurse. If a parent wanted to be a caregiver, they would no longer be reimbursed. We're here to try to make the best decisions we possibly can for our children, and there's approximately a nine-step process for us to be able to make that transition from attendant care to structured family care, and right now we're stuck on step one. With 62 days left before that transition, families say they are still confused about next steps. But we hope that sharing this information today will uh, enable them to be able to get us that information quicker. Information they hope to have by the end of the week. No matter what happens, parents say the one thing that won't change is the care needed for their kids. At the State House, Lauren Kostick, 13 News.